hello guys today in this tutorial i will basically show you how you can convert the html to pdf and we will be basically be creating a pdf document using html to pdf js library inside javascript so you can see i've designed this interface using tailwind css in the browser we have a simple text area and we have got a simple button out there generate pdf so here you need to write something here guys as i write something here you will see this text will be converted to pdf document and click on this button and now your pdf document will be generated if i try to open that you will see uh, it is there and let's suppose we have a lot of text out there i can simply copy paste some text from the internet so you this text can be there from you can just copy this text accordingly copy paste it inside the text area so you will see basically this text will be there click on that and now it will generate this pdf document here so you can see how efficiently guys it basically aligns the text here you can see if the text is larger it will basically create a multi-page pdf document five pages are there in the pdf document so the alignment you see guys it's very much good this is a first page second page this is a third page this is a fourth page fifth page so there is no need to do alignment guys using this library just need to paste the text and it will convert your uh, the text to pdf document html to pdf and we are using this library guys which is html to pdf js it's a client side html uh, pdf generation library using pure javascript and you can use the cdn simply include the cdn inside your application to start using this library inside the browser so we will be building with this application guys from scratch and let's start building this and for doing this guys you just need to simply make a simple template and just paste the cdn that we included cdn and right here first of all guys we will actually build out the interface step by step So what I will do is that I will make it side by side. So if I open this, nothing will be present. So we will be using Tailwind CSS guys. So simply include the CDN of Tailwind as well, right here. This is a script tag that you need to include. So include the CDN for a Tailwind CSS. It is not necessary for this application, but I am just using it for styling purposes. So here we will give it a gray color background and horizontal screen and flex item center and justify center to make it in the center position all the elements inside this guys we will have a simple heading which will say html to pdf it will be right here in the center and after this we will have a simple text area and you will see that so we will give it an id input text so let me create some more space here so that you can clearly see so let me delete this just make it as id so we have given id here and just give it a placeholder which is enter text and it should be required and then guys uh, basically i am just writing the html for now and then i will add the tailwind css classes so we will have a button here which will say generate pdf and now we can simply style this button and uh, bg blue 500 and text color will be bg blue 500 we need to give some text to the button i think you can see that this is actually the button guys if you see on the right hand side and now we also need to make the text white px4 padding from the x direction padding from the y direction and this button needs to be rounded so rounded dash medium so it has become rounded 
and now to style the text area guys it's very simple we will give it a class to it w4 we will remove the outline outline none you can see h40 height will be 40 and margin bottom will be 4 so you can see guys we have successfully st styled it and uh, text white px4 oh sorry there needs to be a space here so you will see that the button is styled the text area has been styled and now we will actually style the heading we will give it a class of uh, text to excel just make it larger text in the center position we will basically make the font as semi bold and margin bottom 4 that's all so now we will basically target the parent div guys and right here we will simply do we will make it maximum width on medium devices and width full it will take the full width padding 6 and then we will give it a background of white color guys so now it will have a background of white color and it will be rounded so we will be giving this class rounded dash medium and we will also be giving a shadow shadow dash md so now if you look at your interface guys this is your interface which looks and we here we can enter the text and it is completely responsive this is a beauty of tailwind css guys and uh, this is your interface which is ready now we will actually write our javascript code which is required for this purpose and here we will actually make a script tag and for writing the javascript code guys it's very simple we will actually have uh, add a event listener when we lo load the content dom content loaded this is the event which will automatically fire and here we will get actually write this code in a separate file guys just give it a name index.js so i will make this file in the root directory and uh, dom content loaded and inside this guys we will get the reference of the generate pdf button by using document.get element by id generate pdf button after getting we will also get the text which is written by the user by input text and then we will get the reference again by document.getElement by id which is input text and we will bind the event handler to the button guys so when we click the button what should happen so we are binding a on click event handler this function will execute guys callback function inside this we need to actually convert the text which the user has written we'll get the value by using dot value so now we will simply check in the if condition that if the user has written something if they haven't written something we will say please enter text to generate pdf and after that we can return from the u if they return something guys in that case we will simply create the pdf document for that we will invoke our first of all we will write the options this will be an object margin will be 10 file name will be given as a generated pdf and image we need to take the screenshot guys in order to generate the pdf document so type will be of jpg and the quality will be it is uh, value between 0 to 1 0 between 0 and 1 so we can give 1 also but I will give at 0 0.98 this is a default value you can play with these options and then it takes a value guys HTML to canvas so basically guys HTML to canvas is a library which converts your canvas to HTML it uses this library in the background and here it takes a value of scale scale is to and also it uses jspdf library again a client side library for generating pdf documents in the background it uses this library to convert the html to pdf so unit is millimeter format of the page it can be a4 a3 i will put a4 and then the uh, orientation of the pdf document so orientation two values are there either it can be portrait or landscape 
So landscape, I will use this value, which is a default value. So all these are customizable guys. After you put the options right here in this object, now you can convert your. So what we will do content div, we will say document dot create element div. And we will say content div dot inner HTML. inner HTML and this will be equal to a paragraph which will be we will give it a style of uh, font size 12 pt and then we will here bind the dynamic text that needs to be there which is text content we will basically in this we are creating a dynamic div guys and putting a paragraph here with the text which is written by the user in the text area we are creating this element dynamically after that we are passing this element to our html to can html to pdf library here we will pass this value content div alongside with the options and it returns a promise guys and here from content div we will output pdf it will uh, create a PDF document for us. So this will download the PDF document as an attachment. So if you refresh your application now, write something, click on that. Let me inspect element what is happening. Cannot read generate PDF button. So let me see guys what is the problem here. I think we haven't given the ID guys so just give it an ID of button here the actual button so here we can replace the ID just replace it and once again do this if you write something here click on this button and again some error take place click this button I think what error is taking place uh, let me copy this code guys uh, just copy this and paste it here and you can pause the video guys and you can just look at uh, which uh, I, I what mistake i did uh, i added margin file name image html to canvas jspdf so all these things i added Sometimes encoding and errors can take place. If I write this, you will see your PDF file will be downloaded and you can see that. So you can also have more, uh, pay, you can paste it, lot more text right here and it will create a bigger size PDF. It will have multi-page PDF documents. So you can create multi-page PDF documents. Alignment is not an issue right here. You can see automatically all the text is automatically aligned. You need not have to do anything extra in this library. As compared to the other libraries, guys, JSPDF or PDFLib, this is a far better library for alignment purposes. So if you have a lot of text that needs to be converted to PDF document, then this is a fantastic library. You just need to paste the text and generate the PDF document and the alignment will automatically do it. You will see that. So horizontal alignment, what is the, all this alignment will take itself by its own. You can change the font size here. Just change 19 pixel here. So what will happen basically if you write now. So now the text size will be pretty larger here. You will see that. The text, the font size is pretty larger. Uh, the pages also increase from 3 to 12 here. You can see as the font size is now larger, so the pages, number of pages in the PDF document also increased. So you can just customize all these things, guys, right here. And if you want the orientation to be portrait, you can even do this also. So now your PDF will be in the portrait mode. If you generate now, so now this will be in the portrait mode. So this is slightly, uh, the pages are little bit uh, shorter in width as compared to the landscape. So depending upon which page pages orientation you want, either portrait or landscape, you can choose there. Uh, you can even change the format or unit type as well. 
so this is all about html to pdf guys library I, it's a very introductory video how to generate dynamic pdf documents using this library thank you very much please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video